And I think that this is definitely the most, the most important thing to growing a gaming channel in 2024. And that's... So, I, 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 I wanted to make this video just because I think that there's a lot of confusion with, like, with what goes on with uh, just YouTube in general. And I think that this should be, like, a big booster to people that have, like, a small gaming channel, like, a small channel in general. That there is merit to the effort that you're putting in. And that there is a lot. Maybe you don't know if it's meant to be or if it's going to work. But um, the, I think these five things that I've done, that I've just seen with my channel, I know maybe there's lack of credibility since I'm not Mr. Beast, but these are five things that I, I've done that I think has really kick-started growth for my channel personally. I, number one is have videos for you, you the creator, and, and your audience. And uh, I, I guess what I mean by that is like, there's a lot of videos that I that I have made that have done really bad. Like they're just, and, and this this video might be one of them to be to be completely honest. But uh, I, I think there's a big importance in making a video that will rejuvenate you as a creator. So like, I I kind of hit a rut this last couple weeks of just like I don't want a game. Like I being funny is just really I don't know like it's. It's taxing to keep, like, putting up a facade, I guess. And I think in some capacity, I just wanted to sort of creatively give energy to, to people. So I, I think, and I think a video like this is, like, that's, that's not bad. Even if it performs poorly, I think that there's a big, like, it can kickstart your growth later. If you can just kind of take a second and be like, hey, I'm... I'm creating this for me, and I think that this, even though it is for me, I think that there's a lot of merit that you can learn from. Next thing is experimentation. So I, <clears throat> I think that there's, obviously, uh, there's a lot of truth to niching down, and that that is that's how you narrow in your audience enough to expand into a bigger market. But um, I I, I think that there's also there's room for experimentation. Um, I've had a ton of videos where I've, especially within your own niche, so like, for instance, me, I started off with Dragon Ball Fighters, which is a fighting game. Um, later on, I dipped into Elden Ring, I dipped into another fighting game, I dipped into it, so you see where I'm going with this, like, there's a multitude of things that you can do within your niche. I have a friend of mine who um, plays CSGO and... Even though he does play CSGO, he also plays Minecraft, and I the mixture of the two have kind of created this expansion within his channel, and the same with me, I there's a plethora of games on my channel that you're like, he plays that and that? It's like, I, but I, I think that there's growth within your experimentation and collecting people from different niches, even though you might lose some. I think that there's credibility to pulling people from different niches to kind of make uh, an audience that's like a melting pot in your on your channel. But it's quantity over quality. Quantity over quality. Like, I, I think that, so what I mean by that is like, I obviously I try to make good videos, but having never made videos before, <laughs> I mean, I've done it for a year now, but having not made them before that, um, the only reason I'm a, I'm better than I was when I first started was because I made 350 videos <laughs> and, and 350 shorts. And I think doing that really lends to the fact that you can like sacrifice efficiency and getting views, getting subscribers, and like reaching an audience. Instead, you are sacrificing that a little bit to improve yourself as a creator through repetition and just getting the reps in as making thumbnails, researching titles, researching um, new trends, playing different games and making progress in those games and working on yourself as like a, a comedian and a performer, which is if you're, a, if you're looking for gaming stuff, then that's what you're here for. Then and it, it's okay to be, to have a lot of videos that are bad because there's, 
even Mr. Beast and like worse videos still probably still get him views in some capacity, you know. So I don't know. I just want to encourage you that even if you make really bad videos now, you can make good videos later, but you have to put the work in. Which kind of leads into number four, which is just be willing to be bad. <laughs> like, just... Nobody, when they pick something up for the first time, is, like, great at that thing, you know? Like, it, it took... I, I remember Kobe Bryant saying that he it, when he was young, he was really bad at basketball. But his father came up to him and said, hey... Whether you make sixty, whether you make six points or sixty points, you are still my son, and I love you. And I think that having the courage to fail is like such a important thing to have on YouTube, because like if if you obviously have a plan and have methods of making money, because YouTube it won't make you money, it won't make you money at first, and that's coming from the guy who has twelve thousand subscribers and still hasn't made a dime. So. I, I would just, and that's not a knock on YouTube. I think it's still like the best platform irrefutably, and it's going to be the highest gross, yada, yada, yada. But I, I think that my willingness to be bad has made me, has improved the quality of my videos over time because I just put in the work and it slowly made it better. And even now, I'm like, I, I still think my videos are terrible. And there's some good ones, but like, I, to be honest, they're, a lot of them are still bad. But that's okay because I'm still going to improve with the intention of making the best video ever. Make the make the best videos you can. That's Mr. Beast. So And this is the fifth one. And I think that this is definitely the most the most important thing to growing a gaming channel in 2024. And that's patience. <laughs> That is patience. It took me uh, 365 days to get 12,000 subscribers, and I still haven't made any money on YouTube. And I, this isn't like a uh, Rahul Ray crying, but it, it, it is, in a sense, like a, almost a warning, I guess. Like, this is, this is going to take work if you're jumping into a gaming channel. I would encourage you to not give up at the first sight of, like, not getting views. Your first video isn't going to get views. It's going to suck. It's going to be terrible. I mean, I, my first video, I, like, I, in my first video, I knew that. So going in, I was prepared to have terrible views, which is why when I made my first video, it was just me telling you why I'm doing YouTube in the first place. And that's because. And it, you, you can go watch that video, but because I think it's more important than what I'm trying to describe here, but I just want to encourage you to be patient. And you, you, you can do it. You can do it. There, there is light at the end of the tunnel, but you have to get through the tunnel first. And sometimes the, and the tunnel has the best, like, crystals around. The journey is so much more important than the destination, in my opinion. I don't know why. I'm starting to cry a little bit. That's... We're not gonna... <laughs> Just sit. be patient. Take the time. And you'll be fine. But that's it for me. So, love y'all. God bless. Go check out this video. Peace.